forecast. Let's go ahead and focus on your forecast now. There's a live look outside beautiful downtown Fort Wayne on this Wednesday. Back to school for so many students in our area. We hope everybody has a great day. And Caleb, the weather is going to be nice, but this morning it's um, not starting out so nice. Yeah. yeah, there's a little bit of mist out there, which has caused one or two spots of reduced visibility. I wouldn't even call it fog, but just a little bit of reduced visibility. Yeah. We can actually see it better here on tower camera. Those little droplets, that's not necessarily raindrops, that's just the mist out there right now. That mist is so light, it's not even being picked up at the airport. Reporting mostly cloudy conditions. Temperatures are currently sitting in the mid 60s. You can see satellite and radar is dry and it's not picking up on the mist either. That's because our radar technology is not sensitive enough to pick up on just how fine those particles are in the atmosphere. But the trend is with satellite and radar is that we're not seeing any widespread rain, no heavy rain. We've got high pressure that's moving in that's going to keep us nice and dry for the next couple of days. There is a cold front that's currently in the northern Great Plains. That is going to move our way, but we don't have to worry about rain with it. The timing of it and the fact that it's coming from a region that lacks a lot of atmospheric moisture means we're just going to be dealing with the cooler conditions that move in back behind it. So here's your precipitation chances for today into tomorrow and early Friday. Very, very low. Future track is going to show that there is a sprinkle that's going to pop up. I don't even think that's really going to be the case today, but you can see there's one or two specks of green on future track for today around lunchtime. And it's going to be a similar situation for your Thursday. So while we're dealing with a lot of cloud cover today, we get those clouds to roll out of our area by the time dinner time rolls around this evening. And then we're setting ourselves up with mostly sunny conditions for all of Thursday and most of Friday as well. A little bit of cloud cover in the morning. And then we see that sunshine return in the afternoon. So if you plan on taking the dog for a walk today, green paw conditions. Temperatures are going to be very comfortable. We'll see plenty of sunshine. Like I mentioned, clouds leaving throughout the day. And by the time we reach peak heating, we'll be in the mid to upper 70s. The humidity is still going to hang around for a bit longer, but we do start to lose that humidity. And something to note as well, today winds gusting upwards of 25 to 30 miles per hour, but really there's no big concerns with the wind. We're not expecting any big wind gusts or anything like that. Let's look at temperatures as we head towards the end of the week now. Tomorrow, upper 70s, low 80s for the highs. That's about where we're supposed to be for this time of year. Dew points in the mid 60s, so still a little bit on the muggy side. But as we get to Friday, that cold front swings through. That takes those high temperatures down into the mid to upper 70s and the dew points down into the 50s. So while the dew point tracker shows that for today, we're still going to be kind of on the humid side. As we get towards Friday, we start to see those dew points drop, that moisture move out of our area. It's going to feel much more comfortable and the weekend is going to feel very comfortable as well. 75 for that high on Saturday, 76 on Sunday. Both days, very low humidity. It's going to be, I'm going to call it a blue ribbon weekend. Get outside, enjoy that weather. Even if you can't on Saturday and Sunday, we've got a couple of nice days to start next week too. Upper 70s for the highs Monday and Tuesday with a little bit of cloud cover for overall. A very nice end to this week, a nice weekend, and a nice start to next week. We love it. All right, Caleb, thank you so much.